Welcome, welcome. Woo! Welcome back. Welcome, welcome. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Hello, hello, hello. This is where you say welcome. Oh, yeah. Welcome, 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 welcome right. Hot Shot Secret fan. <laughs> Storms rolling in from the right. Moving right, day and night. <laughs> yeah, we're supposed to be powered by science. That's very true. We better be able to get two people on one train somehow. A lot of hard work that went into this. You know, it's something that we've been chasing for a year and a half to try to get this truck in the breeze. Oh. Oh. <laughs> we welcome, are welcome. live. We are live. <laughs> welcome. 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 <laughs> that's right yeah that's right welcome 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 into facebook live hot shot secret episode number 141 Why Talk, three of us? well mix it, up. mix it up and we got a new uh product here it does like three different fluids i guess and this is the man who made the product right right okay makes sense you oh. yeah you eric aaron and josh huh. Glad to have all you guys in here with us this week. As yeah, we, you should see that behind the camera. There's like 47 people. <laughs> I was gonna say it's it's like chaos, and I don't know why because I'm like, dude, it's all there. What's we going on? This, we, we do this That's, every week. We've done it for 141 times. Right. <laughs> but we actually got a new guy, Jake, behind the controls. That, well, not new here, but new behind the controls. So he's getting himself uh, used to it in case one of us out on the road or taking some time off yeah a lot of times you'll hear us say hey levi or hey chad do you have this or can you pull this video up well now it's going to be jake we're going to have calling out for jake <laughs> yeah. there we go got to speak into the mic <laughs> hi josh what's this thing all about we're introducing a new product this week it is our atf plus four dex three and mercon five all in one. I always called it five. I don't know. That's what I call it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me if I'm wrong. I'm not a transmission guy. <laughs> so if you got questions, new products, existing products, what's going on in the world, any questions like that, post them in the comments. We'll be sure to answer them to the best of our ability. We're all about the stock market. Stock market, cryptocurrency, yeah. Yeah, all of um, horse racing, whatever. <laughs> Tractor pulling. Gambling. Maybe that's just me. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, of course, at the end of the show, uh, we'll be doing our, our weekly uh, drawing and giveaway. And uh, this week's prize is is what, Josh? What swag. We're, we're giving away some swag. All right. So T-shirts, hoodies. T-shirt and hat. There we go. Maybe some decals, you know. We'll see what else is in Chad's uh, desk as he puts the package together. Some hot shot gear. All right. Some hot shots gear. That's uh, right. Chad's leftovers. <laughs> yeah. Is that what it is? Do you have a leftover fry from lunch you can throw in the box? <laughs> okay. Uh, so we do this each week. Every week we give out uh, uh, prizes to, to winners. And uh, how do people enter if they don't know already? Hotshots.com or hotshotsecret.com slash giveaway. Wow, I'm really shortening up the URL today. Yeah. <laughs> Tiny bit. Tiny bit. <laughs> and uh, we, we typically like to ask... We typically like to ask every week where everybody watching it from. We get people from all over. Um, so chime in. Let us know where you're watching from. I'd also like to have everyone hit the like button and share it to a friend as well. Let them know we're on. So share it out. Let us everyone know what's going on here at Hot Shots right now. I just want to see project vehicles. There we go. That's a good one, too. Mm -hmm. We kind of do that. And not necessarily project vehicles, but we have to do a little thing where people tag us yeah. with their vehicle and some product. And the 13 minute Sunday spectacular, where you have 13 minutes to post your ride for Chad to pick a winner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As always, we're dual streaming on YouTube and Facebook. Be sure to like and share this video. Hit the subscribe button on YouTube to see this video and all our up video updates. And be sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and the Hot Shot Secret. R and D page, man. Yeah, there hasn't been anything on there. Well, maybe we'll get some more excitement going. Perhaps. Perhaps not. Perhaps not. <laughs> All right, so we we got a. We'll try to. I don't know if we'll, we'll get through this quick, but Aaron's on a timeline. Aaron's only got a, a few minutes with us, so we want to make sure he was here to talk about the new products. So that's what we're doing first. First thing we're gonna do is jump into the new products. Um, and take it away, Aaron. <laughs> let's, let's 
Let's have a get to know you segment with the transmission fluid. Okay. So, what's your name? ATF plus four X three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> did it. Who, who? We got anybody in today, Josh? Yeah, Terry Howard's first in. Happy Hot Shot Secret Thursday. And he said he finally finished his pass over at Emerald Coast Dragway. So down in Florida. Down in Florida. Yep. So Terry down in Florida, one of our loyal fans. We got David saying he used our gasoline extreme and it worked really good. Ah, uh, good deal. You know about that it's stuff. It's orange. It's good. It's orange. Exactly. Well, how come? What did you see? Fuel economy, smoother engine. I mean, tell us. Why did it work well for you? Arthur's checking in from uh, Mooresville, North Carolina, and. We got a guy in from uh, Texas as well, and we got some uh, people excited about the swag as well. So, nice. yeah, all right. Sort of too late though. We'll do it again. Next week. Oh, we do it every week, Aaron. Uh, yeah, we'll we do something. Go away, right. go away every week. Next week, well, be something actually, everyone gets some swag every week if they're live on the show while we oh, mention the winner. True. We give them some that's swag. That's right. So, so a lot of times, uh, you so know. Person's live. What are they going to get? A product now? This week? Yeah. What are we going to do? We'll, we'll, we'll dig through the promotional <laughs> closet. We'll find something. Yeah. The, the radio guys always say we'll find something in the closet. So that's what we're going to do. We'll find something in the closet. So without further ado, if you've right. watched the past couple of weeks, we always get questions. When's ATF Plus Four coming? When's it coming? When's it coming? <laughs> a couple weeks. Couple yeah. weeks. Two weeks out. Two weeks out. Well, Two more weeks. Uh, well, actually, last week we was put on the spot and we said this week, this Facebook Live episode, we're going to have the new products. Here they are. We got a, a blue, our severe duty blue diamond, and then our adrenaline r racing, both live on the website. Uh, right, Chad? Yep. Josh? Yep. So you can go buy them right now. Uh, maybe wait until after the, the show. But um, so they're live. They're here. They're bottled. They're labeled. Good to go. Um, so if you got questions about them, let us know what, what those questions are. Uh, but we're going to kind of dive so into I them. A, two, I have a two-part question before we get into this. Okay. Were the labels delivered Friday, and then these products delivered or bottled? I believe, yeah, I believe labels came in end of last week, and then they because were. Because they weren't here Thursday when I left, and now all of a sudden we have labels and bottle. It's a bottle, and I missed all of it. They were. It was bottled there. Wednesday. Yesterday. Yes. Well, Just in time for the launch. Yeah. So we got labels in, yeah, it's all good to go. It's live. We got, got them on a pallet in the back, ready to be shipped. Um, hey, guys, if you want, we actually have a video that we could roll off to, like, premiere it. Yeah, yeah the, let's do the it. Video. We can get sure. that going first. The video department feller has a video recommendation. <laughs> Please stand by. Go. That looks good. Thanks to our great video so, department for putting that together. Jake, since you're back there and you have a microphone, how did you film this when the blue room is in the middle of construction? I had a tiny box <laughs> that I turned off all the lights in, and then I took a single little light and I just waved it around a bunch, and that's called movie magic. He gets creative. He, he's done know, this for a while. He knows like, what he's doing. I was saying for the resources, it's a very good job. It's a very good job, period, but if you know the backstory, it's even cooler. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> so, Blue Diamond, Adrenaline, these have been kind of um, holes in our, our transmission fluid line for, for some time, right? How long, Just a little bit. How long have you guys been working on, the, on these? Start to finish. Two years. Two years. 
maybe a touch more. Yeah. Yeah. And um, it's, you know, customers out there are always asking for, where, where is this, where can we get it? So it was something, you know, people ask, why do we come out with a product like this? Well, it's for the customers. Yeah. It's, it was a pretty popular specs that these meet. So we wanted to make sure we had them. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> so the big ones, right? They, they, they're multi-vehicle. Um, and there's, if you look on the back of the label, when you get yours in, uh, you'll see there's, there's a whole bunch of specs that they meet. But... What's the, what's the main ones that everybody's always trying to trying to hit? ATF plus four, period. I mean, that's your that's, number one. That's the number one. Um, the Ford guys are looking for the mid-range viscosity, Mercon, which it hits, and the DEX-3. Um, the DEX-6 is backwards compatible for DEX-3, but a lot of old school guys want a little higher viscosity. And that's um, where they would go with the DEX-3? Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, yeah. So this pretty much hits all your popular models of right. heavy duty trucks, so or, or yeah, I should not really heavy duty, but uh, not your. Oh, but wait, that's where that's why. That's another reason this took a little longer to come out with. Uh, we, we were simultaneously working on heavy duty diesel transmission fluid, automatic transmission fluids, and once we met one spec and met another spec, then we started combining and sometimes you start with two completely different recipes or formulas and just now it's one so we hit so that's a good point right the because Dex 3, 8, the heavy duty spec um, quite a few of them so a lot of people a lot of companies might have one product specifically branded for ATF plus 4 right. or just Dex 3 or Mercon 5 right. um, but when you look at the I see how do we put this the, the the benchmarks they need to hit to meet these different specifications, you look at them at all three or, or multiples and say, okay, well, we're already hitting these two, and if we just right. tweak it here, then we'll be yeah, good so across the board. An easy way to, maybe it's not easy, but one way to look at it is, okay, we've already got our high school diploma. We just graduated with our sweet marketing degree. Yep. That's you. <laughs> so do you still have your high school diploma or not? Yes. Okay. So that's what we did. We graduated. Okay. So that's why if so, you see yes. um, when they get, so, so we have on the adrenaline side, Josh, what do we got? We got nano shift. Yep. Um, we got our new product or <laughs> pro shift. Right. Plus four. Mm -hmm. They kind of signify ATF plus four. And then um, super shift, I believe is the other one. Speed shift. Speed, Speed shift. shift. Speed shift. Yeah. Which was the old was ATF. Nice. Yes. Um, which are all ATFs. They're all automatic transmission fluids. So um, then on the, on the blue diamond side, we also got um, a number of different ones. But what I'm getting to <laughs> is the fact that they all meet multiple specs. So if you look on the label here, I, I can't Let's see. I don't have my glasses. Um, so it's, it's blue diamond... Plus four D three M five, and then you'll see underneath the PAO stamp it calls out some of those top specs that they that they meet. So, um, if you're looking for I, any of those, either of those specs, um, this is this is the product you're going to need. Check. <laughs> <laughs> and I wish I could remember who I'm supposed to call. Somebody about the. Yep. It's been asking every week for months. And it's not Terry Howard, is it? No, no it's, it's not. Um, David, right? I think. No. Uh, maybe he's watching. He'll chime in. If you tell me who's watching. I'll tell you. I'm, I'm better with multiple choice than, <laughs> yeah. than essay questions. So mm. all the Blue Diamond and the Adrenaline line of products are all PAO. You'll see the PAO mm. stamp on the front. What does that mean? Polyalpha olefin. Oh, okay. Um, Go ahead. Group. You know all the stuff. <laughs> well, you're, you're the R&D guy. So. Yeah, you're, you're the science guy. We're... I'm the guy that's supposed to be hidden in the lab coming up with stuff. On... So just what what's a, uh, a PAO it's formula? A, it's a group four. It's a really high-quality base oil, uh, mm -hmm. reduced shearing, oxidation. So your transmission fluid is good for longer, short version. And Keeps... more often than not, you can even keep it in longer, right? You, yeah, your absolutely. extended drain on intervals. Right. And like all our oils, got FR3 on there. Ooh, FR3. Secret sauce. It is. 
Yeah, so F43 Nano Lubricant, they're putting it into all the oils and fluids we got um, because we've seen, I mean, shoot, you're in the lab testing all the time and, and we see good results. And um, Similar to what a PAO does, right, it's going to help with, with multiple things, um, heat resistance and, and shearing and oxidation and all those different properties. So it's something that we found a lot of value in, so we want to make sure it's in our different products mm -hmm. uh, so everybody at home can get the same benefits. So you don't have to buy it separate, right? We don't want to have customers have to buy That's FR3. Yeah. Blend it in right here. <laughs> yep. We're making it, it anyway. Just do it all right here. So, Aaron, compared to some of the other products uh, out there on the shelf, our ATF Plus 4, um, how do they compare? Why, you know, why should somebody come to ours? What's some of the things we, we found? All of the above. You know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we don't... We don't release it until it passes all of the tests, until it's the best of the best. So, the, well, that's, that's the ultimate test, right? Chris, the CEO, <laughs> founder, no. he always says, if we can't put a, a product to market that's not going to beat everything else out there, we're not going to introduce it to the market. Correct. So that's, that's the baseline. The baseline is best of the best. Best of the best. So, and, and to be a group four oil i mean yeah, you're looking the best of the best just in general yeah definitely so obviously extended life and re reliability right that's that's one thing we all want because transmission jobs are going to be mm. you know just <laughs> crazy expensive yeah. uh so if we can avoid that that's all the better um <laughs> sometimes people deal with uh you know rough operation uh loud noises just kind of general headaches um we found reduced noise and vibration um Film, we talk about film strength and, and boundary layer uh, protection, and, and that's all just going to help with general wear inside the, the transmission. Absolutely. Um, talk about oxidation stability. Um, that's just, w when fluid oxidizes, essentially, tell me if I'm wrong, that's where you're getting your deposits from. That's when you're getting these, these deposits and varnishes built up. Check. I'll, so, I'll agree with that. So if we can <laughs> improve... Or, or offer a food with better oxidation stability, which is what a PAO does, um, you're going to cut way back on that, which is going to keep everything cleaner, um, just in better shape. It's going to operate more efficiently, uh, less heat, less friction, all good stuff for the transmission. All good stuff. Yep. Look in our comments. Um, you were wondering about the... Um oh, sorry. The uh, guy with gasoline extreme. Yeah. Um, he said, um, now I'm trying to find it. Noticed a lot more power in the first tank. Nice. There we go. Um, Arthur says he uses FR3 and it gives him better MPGs. Arthur? Arthur, yeah. What's Arthur's last name? Irvin. Artie. <laughs> uh, he's, our, he's, our, uh, he's our TV guy. Yeah. Hmm. I got some stuff for you, Arthur. Okay. FR3. Uh, Charles is checking in from Pam Panama City, Florida. Um, go got there. a. Check in. It's Panama. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing this backwards. Yeah. Yeah. We got a guy with a 94 GMC with a 6.5 turbo diesel, and he says use EDT. Went from 16 to 8.18.5 8 MBG. So that's good gains. That's good, great gains. And you know, a lot of times when when people see. Like, I'm, you're a math guy. Maybe you can do the math in your head real quick. But that kind of fuel economy gains are going to more than pay for the price of the product. Because EDT is what? Like three, four cents a gallon to treat? Yeah. So when you get those kind of, I mean, the product's essentially free at that point, and you're getting all the benefits. 6% increase? What was it? It was uh, two and a half MBG, 16 to 18.5. Yeah. Don't hurt a yourself. Lot. Yeah, a lot, yeah. It's over 10, actually. Looking at another comment for Arthur, he says, uh, doing a filter change on my Jeep, which is about six quarts, can your fluid be mixed with standard ATF plus four? Hmm. It can. It is fully compatible. Uh, the only thing you need to realize is the portion that's not the PAO or our fluid still can oxidize, shear, things of that nature. So for but, best results, it, just do a complete. Yeah, but that's it's a little bit difficult. Right. Unless you want to pull it out, flush it, or yeah. How do you? Drain a converter so or I flush, one of my one of my cars is a Phil for life. Um, am I just SOL? 
like you know do, do they put in I, I i'm just asking do they put in quality trans food that's supposed to last you know two hundred thousand miles or what if i wanted to upgrade is there it depends Depends I'm on the not, make, yeah, model. Some and of them actually have drain plugs and fill plugs, even though they're fill for life. Uh, some of them are sealed. Mm. So we have to oh, good luck. pull the cases apart. And right. I'm just curious. Yeah. Uh, David's wondering about API rating for the uh, 85W140 gear oil. He says he needs GL4. Well, GL5 supersedes GL4. And guess what? Or GL5, huh? We are neither. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah. See, yeah. see, he tricked me. Oh, tricked you. I did that on purpose. <laughs> I, I, uh, I quit. I'm we, done. <laughs> we do not have an API specification for for the gear oils. Uh, they exceed all of the wear ratings for the GL4 and GL5. Um, so you'll be fine using it. Gordon's watching over on YouTube. Wants to know: uh, Can we use these uh, trans fluids with a uh, Detroit DT12 transmission? So I, I don't know that spec off the top of my head what that calls for. It just depends on, on what, the, yeah, what it calls for. I can't remember either. Um, I'll give Aaron some homework on that one. We'll get back to you. the writing utensil. What else you got? Uh, Terry Howard wanted to know, can the new trans fluid be mis mixed with shift restore? Oh, that's a good question. It can, but it doesn't need to be. So probably only if you really have any issues up front with it, you might want to. Right, absolutely. And really, ideally, you'd maybe run the shift restore on your old fluid, run right, it through right, a couple yeah. thousand miles, yeah. and then do a, a exactly. complete change and, right. and flush. Because that'll clean everything out. Yeah. That way you're starting fresh. All right. Nice. Skyler, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, Skyler says, I run Stiction Eliminator with every oil change. Is that needed? It's in a 07 Chevy Duramax. It's not needed. Um, so we, we have on, on the oil side, you, you want to take it? No, you got it. Uh, on the oil side, we, we, we have a two-step uh, process, uh, two-step treatment. So six eliminator we recommend running first, which you're ahead of the game there. And then uh, on the next two or three oil changes, actually run the FR3 friction reducer. Uh, because once you clean it out with six eliminator, FR3 is going to go in. It's going to help keep it clean because it, it does have... Uh, semesters and things in there that's going to help keep uh, the keep it clean but then you're still going to get all the other benefits uh the friction reduction um wear reduction improved uh fuel economy horsepower everything like that so um that's how we recommend doing it and fr3 is a bit cheaper because you don't need to use as much it's uh what 16 ounces per 11 quarts or eight quarts Something like that. So it's it's a lot different than uh, six eliminator. You don't need. I, as much. I always do the one point five, one point six ounces per per quart. Per yeah, quart. That's that's easy. <laughs> right. Yep. So that's that's the way to do it. Um, if you've been running six eliminator, just pick up some FR three for your next oil change. Run that for uh, you know the next couple intervals, and, and then after that you can run back to stiction just for a maintenance dose. Uh, so you'll see the maintenance dose on the bottle. You just cut it in half, um, and then and that's kind of. Well, we found to have the best results, that two-step system. Yeah. Plus, Stiction Eliminator already has FR3 in it, so you've done the initial clean-out. Now you're just keeping maintaining that exactly. with FR3. Uh, so back to the transmission products real quick, Aaron. I'm, I'm, I know we we hear a lot of times, especially on our other um, transmission fluids, is reduction in temperature. Um, couple things one what are some of the the feedback because we give this out and do some field tests before you know we, we uh, bring it to market what are some of those kind of things you've heard i know we got some sponsored racers that's giving us feedback yeah 10 Just, oh so on the other side 10 to 15 degree reduction in temperature typically which is pretty significant a little bit yeah it's 10 to 15 it's degrees well it's definitely going to make a difference yeah. in life of the fluid you keep yeah. the temp down why and why why is that why are we seeing the, the reduction in temperatures uh, which, There's just kind of combination which, of everything. Which do you want? There's tons of them, yeah. Um, Give me the, a couple. The FR3 inside of the fluid, the nanocarbons and the esters. So less and friction. PIO, and yeah, so it, it just rides along inside of there a lot smoother. Okay. So that's real big when people were, uh, especially, you know, Josh pulling heavy loads or something like that, or in, in the racing side of things, these high horsepower, high torque applications, heat is going to shoot through the roof. So if we can mm -hmm. keep that down, all the better. Yeah, right on. <laughs> I 
It's the Eric show today. I'm <laughs> telling you guys. Like, um, we didn't know there was going to be an audience out that side, so they brought us in here to yep. to be an audience in. Um, so I got a couple of, uh, other notes here from, from Chad, just talking about the product. So uh, reduced wear, reduced uh, shearing of the product. Uh, that's because of the PAO formula. Uh, so it's not going to shear at a grade. Less friction, which we talked about, better efficiency, better uh, horsepower results, that kind of stuff. Um, reduces deposit formation. Again, keeping everything clean, uh, cleaner longer. Protects against sludge, varnish, and then uh, some... some Anti-rust anti -rust protection. protection. How about that? How about that? Yeah. yeah, you don't hear that much when you're talking about transmission fluids. Yeah, I mean, why wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah. You just throw it in, right? Yeah, you just throw it all in there. So that's just a, a quick rundown. I'll tell you, uh, when, when you look at the across the line of, say, our blue diamond transmission fluids, they are pretty similar in the fact that they're PAO. they got FR3, some of those things we mentioned. Um, but it's ultimately it's going to boil it down to the different specs, so just see what you need. Um, and if you want the best of the best, right, that's our, our, our mm. benchmark, then um, this is the way to go. Same on the, the adrenaline side. Um, just check on, on what kind of specs you need. And um, I will mention on the, on the Blue Diamond side, uh, we talked about, you know, these, these are ATFs. We have multiple ATFs, but we also have a G56 manual transmission fluid. So that's kind of... Uh, Specific little niche, um, but we got you covered there too. Yeah. It's it's odd that we came out with that before the ATF plus four. About the same amount of testing though, right? I mean, that was a pretty long development cycle too. Yeah. Like you guys had a formula, and then everyone said it was good, and one guy finally piped up and said, eh, "It needs a little more <laughs> tweaking when it's cold out." Yeah. <laughs> right. that, yeah. Look okay. Yeah. All right, good deal. Any other questions on uh, transmission fluids? Drop them in the comments. Uh, we'll, we'll double back to them. Um, but big weekend this weekend. I'm surprised you're here, Aaron. I'm surprised he hasn't snuck out and headed over to Indy. Um, what's going on this weekend, Josh? Uh, this little little show called the Ultimate Call It Challenge. Yeah, I heard they had some like drag racing and sled pulling and dyno competition. Just a little bit, a little bit. And then fun, they, though. you know, had this thing here in Ohio that they normally had this, you know, uh, outlaw diesel super series thing, and they decided to combine the two together yeah. all in one. So, but we'll talk about that here in a little bit. Um, in the meantime, the other uh, big series that we're excited to be part of is the whole shot, hot shot secret whole shot uh, diesel series, and I think. Jake, we got a video of that? Or is this the UCC video? All right, so I misspoke. That was actually a UCC. No, uh, I done hit the wrong button. <laughs> I'm still getting used to this thing back here. Uh, do you want the? Do you want the other video? Yeah, let's roll the the whole shot video uh, real quick. All right.
Yeah. That was the whole shot video. Yes. And that's just a little bit of it. There's more of that video. We'll post that on Friday to our YouTube and Facebook page. So be sure to check out the full video then. Yep. And I think that all came from the first bit of the year, right? Over in Sacramento. Correct. Correct. So. And there's actually some more news with the series. They uh, picked up the Texas truck jam as mm. part of the event schedule so that's a big event that's a huge event so we're really excited about being a part of that yep. uh texas truck jam i believe i'm trying to remember when that even even is later on in the summer but, yeah but just great great news to hear that we're uh that series is expanding we're so happy to be down at the texas truck jam with those guys as mm -hmm. well all right now some of the the stuff we do weekly we uh we do dealer shout outs i think we got some to shout outs today yeah we got Totally Mechanic in Millersburg, Ohio. Oh, just down the road. And Diesel Engine and Heavy Duty Equipment in Burlington, North Carolina. Okay. That one sounds familiar. Um, maybe it's close to us when we go down there for uh, Rudy's or some of these different events. But mm -hmm. um, good deal. Uh, we're, we're always uh, happy to bring new people on board, new dealers on board. And um, we also got, we, we say this every week, how long have we been in the lobby now? I think it's been two months. <laughs> yeah, we've been out here for a long time. This is our lobby here at our, at our headquarters. Uh, but we do have a studio um, that is currently under uh, construction. But in that studio, we have a, um, a garage door because we, we bring in vehicles and, and we put them up on the lifts and do different things with them. Um, and we, we plaster it with uh, different stickers, decals of our dealers and uh, partners and things like that. So... Here's our weekly reminder, if you have those things, if you have any uh, decals or stickers, send them in to us and we'll get them back. Once we're back in the studio, we'll get them up. Absolutely, and it's a great way, not only for our these episodes on Facebook, but also for all our other how-to videos and all sorts of videos we're gonna be filming in there. And I know it's gonna be slammed once we get back in there because we are just doing a backlog of video needs at this point. Yep, I know Jake's itching to get back in there to shoot some things, film some, some things. Um, I don't know, hopefully within, uh, we've heard June, eh, hopefully we get in there uh, shortly thereafter. And uh, shout out to Aaron for, for joining us today to talk uh, some products he had to run, um, but it's always nice to get him on here. He's, uh, he's the man behind the, the science, so mm -hmm. sometimes you can't always tell, but he's pretty smart. <laughs> uh, that was for you, Aaron. Yeah. Want to give a shout out to our feature ride of the week. We have Chris this week, and uh, you can enter each week on Sunday by listening or f watching for our post, I should say, not listening. If you're listening for a post on Facebook, that'd be something's interesting. Wrong. Something's yeah. wrong. <laughs> but watching for a post, calling out Sunday afternoon, you get about 24 hours to be entered, and we'll feature a new ride each and every week. And glad to have a great looking ride, Chris, and for all those um, entries we get so, trucks, cars race cars, tractors, heavy-duty equipment, we don't care what it is, golf carts, lawnmowers. We want some cool and outrageous photos with features of the ride. That's it. doesn't matter what it is. Um, Shout-out to Chris this week, and we keep that up the whole week, right? The whole week, and then um, I think every time we change that profile picture, we, it, it gets shared to our uh, uh, stream or our, our feed. Uh, so all, you know, 40,000 people will... will Get to check out your ride so send those in mm -hmm. um and then we're also doing this other thing right it's called uh we're dubbing it the protect your ride image um what's this all about josh well by sharing our uh a photo on social and tagging us we pick out an image each and every week um you know with your ride and how you're protecting it so this week we got a two-tone 6.7 featuring edt at the pump so Awesome shot from him. I like that one. That sounds familiar too. Two tone, six point seven. I wonder if if we've shared him before or not. Um, but that's a good looking shot there. And Aaron made up or brought up a good point. He he's a he's a gearhead. He's into project cars and and uh, rat rods and all this kind of stuff. And uh, he mentioned he wants to see project uh, project cars. Um, so I'd encourage anybody out there, whether you have our product in the shot, shot or not send us in your project cars I, i'd love to see them too and then aaron will probably be pretty stoked about it absolutely speaking of which shout out to diesel don who just picked up a old miata did you hear this story no i didn't i, I don't know what year it is it's a it's a uh it's a miata i think maybe an m series i'm not a miata enthusiast so i don't know much about him but 
It's, uh, it's real clean. Um, top goes down. So Diesel Don used to work here. He's, he's beloved here, and uh, he recently retired. He's a big car guy. Uh, he's got multiple cars, and uh, he just picked up this this Miata, and he takes his wife around town, and he's loving it. <laughs> that sounds like Don. That sounds like Don, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, and then um, we also like to re remind people every week about uh, our, our venture into overnight radio with the Steve Summers Overnight Drive. Josh, let's... Uh, Live... Each weeknight, midnight to 5 a.m. Eastern from the Hotshot Secret Studios. You can listen online at OvernightDriveRadio.com. And also, that's a great location to find our apps, both Android and iOS. Plus, we stream on Facebook and YouTube as well. So, good to check that out. News, weather, traffic, industry news, headlines, and uh, special guests from time to time. Each and every Monday, we also feature Joel Morrow. He is a uh, trucking expert with over million miles in the industry and does a lot of testing for Volvo and some of the other main manufacturers as well. Yep, and then uh, also Chris, our, our uh, founder and CEO, he's on the first most first Fridays of every month, so he goes on typically for the whole five hours. Um, so it's a live call-in show. You want to call in and talk trucking, sports, ask questions, whatever it is. It's a great uh, avenue for that. And uh, we just uh, brought somebody on board, brought, brought Chad on board. Um, yeah, hopefully he'll be doing some cool stuff. We don't quite know yet, but everybody, please welcome Chad. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> um, um, Should, uh, we needed a camera in reverse this week <laughs> for the audience. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I know. We got a couple people out here. but um, So hopefully we'll see uh, continue to see an evolution of the show. It's, it's progressed a lot over the past couple months. It launched in January, and it's, it's in a really good spot. Um, it's a great show, and uh, hopefully we'll continue to see some evolution there. And, and uh, like I mentioned, Chad's coming on board to, to, to work on that and work with Steve on, on uh, just keep it growing. You know? And we're actually hitting a milestone here next we week. We are. That's next right. Next Friday is the 100th episode. Man, they, huh. Steve got up quick. If you do it, I suppose you do it five nights a week. We're on episode 141, and we've been doing this, what, like three years. <laughs> yeah, um, that five nights a week makes a big tough. difference for you. <laughs> yeah, so that's a big show. we got a lot – a lot of things uh, planned, some uh, special special things, some giveaways, and there, don't actually, say too much. But Well, there is a contest going on now. Mm. So if you go over to OvernightDriveRadio.com and click on the contest tab, there is a giveaway going on over there, and it's actually pretty cool. We're doing a fluid swap for the winter uh, with Hot Shot Secret products. So oils, we'll get you additives and nice. we'll meet it to the needs of your vehicle. Maybe we can throw some ATF plus four in there for the right vehicle. There we go. So yeah. We'll see what we have. And, and I know that I know I've heard things, some other things of sponsors and, and partners of the show. Well, who, it we're we're telling it over there. So go to check it out. We got uh, some headsets from our friends at Stellar Electronics. We got swag from uh, Diesel Army, um, Air Dog, and uh, all kinds of good stuff. Yeah, um, Firepunk. I mean, it, all sorts of stuff. So go check it out over there. Yeah. And then uh, you know we we it's event season. It's race season. We got stuff every weekend. It seems like uh, multiple things <laughs> on on certain weekends. Um, like we talked about earlier, this weekend is is the big one. We got uh, the Ultimate Call Challenge. It's also uh, rolled into the Outlaw Diesel Revenge leg, hosted by Firepunk Diesel, which is part of the Outlaw Diesel Super Series. Um, so this is a three-day event, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And uh, on the Ultimate Call Challenge, there's essentially three legs, or three uh, events, right, Josh? Right, so they mix together drag racing on one day, dyno, and then sled pull. And sled pull. Sled pull is, people love sled pulls. Um, whether tractor or not, it's, I, it's always a crowd. No, it, it is a crowd. It's, it's a lot of fun to watch. And then um, on the Outlaw Diesel Super Series side, they got all the different classes, um, Pro Street, uh, 590, I mean, you name it. Um, all the guys are going to be there. They're racing, I think, maybe Saturday? I don't, I don't remember the, that schedule off the top of my head, but so the, they're also going to be doing their... Well, they uh, must do Saturday, Sunday. I think it's like a normal okay. Outlaw Series. I, if I remember correctly from Kyle telling me, Friday's the drag racing, Saturday is dyno for UCC right. part, and then Sunday's sled pull. Gotcha. Okay. So if you want to see a bunch of what's going on, 
Saturday is the best day to go because you get to see Dino and, and, um, drag, racing, and right. drag racing. Yep, and I believe they do. A, um, so it gives you like the most variety. So if you can go Saturday, Sunday, you definitely see it all. Yeah, essentially. Now you won't see the UCC trucks dragging on Saturday, but you'll see it, the Outlaw guys mm -hmm. do that. Uh, so it's a good event, and uh, we're, we're going big this year. I think uh, we got like a 40 foot booth. Uh, we got a, a badass truck in the booth. I'm excited to see it. Um, and we got like a whole crew out there. Kyle's out there. We got um, most of the sales team. Most out. of the sales team. Yeah, we got a rotation. We got like I don't know, almost 10 people uh, by the by the time it's said and done. That's going to be. They tried getting so. me to go out, and I said I don't know. I don't. I don't know about this drag racing. Yeah, thing yet. <laughs> he's a, he's a tractor pull, sled pull kind of a guy. Uh, so that's in um, that's at Lucas Oil Stadium in uh, Indy, and uh, Raceway. Raceway. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so the other thing in Indy. Go check it out. The other thing you talked about that holds a lot of hay. It's a big building. It holds a lot of yeah. hay. Yeah. Uh, then we got a couple other events. Uh, we got the um, PDRA. Uh, the Serbo Construction American Door Slammer Challenge coming up. That's May 27th through the 29th at uh, Summer Motorsports Park. And that live spe speed is sponsored by Hot Shot Seeker on Flow Racing. And then uh, the, the Party on the Mountain at uh, English Mountain Raceway at, uh, again, May 28th through the 30th. And I believe that's uh, DNR's, Matt Rice. Yeah, Matt Rice, yep, that's, putting on that event. That's down in Tennessee. Uh, should mention also as well, if you will watch the Ultimate Call It Challenge live feed, we are also sponsoring the feed over on Flow Racing as well, so they're going to have great coverage of the event and good professional coverage of the That's event right. this year That's as right. well. Um, you want to do our giveaway? Are we time for a giveaway? Sure. Got some swag going to B period dunks at something.com. B donks? B -donks. He won last week. <laughs> right? Because I said D bonks. He said, no, 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 it's B donks. And I wasn't here, so I didn't know that. Well, I guess the guy's going to get some swag to go. Did you update that, Chad? <laughs> you did? Okay. <laughs> he didn't realize you. Because so you already had to lead it out of the script, didn't you? And then you. No, that's the winner. I know. Yeah. Okay. So, he, so I think last week was Diesel Extreme? So he won yeah. some free product last week, and then this week he's taking home some swag. So, um. If you're here, comment, let us know. We'll get you. We'll get you something else. We'll find something else yeah. in the prize closet. <laughs> so that's why you need to enter for these giveaways because you never know. You can uh, you can take home quite a haul. Yeah. So enter each week at hotshotsecret.com slash giveaway. Yep, for that's those. it. What's next week, Chad? Do you remember? It is EDT and gasoline extreme. That's right. EDT and gasoline extreme. Okay. So if gas or diesel... We're actually going to talk about fuel economy next week. Nice. As nice. we hit the road for summer, Memorial Day, and the distant, not so distant future anymore. Yeah. I'm going to talk about some fuel economy savings. I dig it. I dig it. We got uh, anything else? Um, I actually had a bunch of questions I failed to uh, get to. Um, David also wanted to know can he use stiction eliminator in a gasoline engine and then FR3? 1000% yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes to all parts of that question. Yeah. <laughs> Steve says, finally, ATF plus four. We're excited. Yeah. It only took two years, but it's here. Well, I guess that was about it. I didn't, was trying to pay attention to yeah, what's I going on. It's, it's, it's like, difficult. oh, chat, this, that. Yeah. Okay, hosting a show. Right. Well, <laughs> Uh, you got Memorial Day plans, Josh? Um, it's coming not, up real soon. It is coming up real soon. Not anything real solid at this point. Just kind of, it's a different year for me. Like, yeah. no, usually. Uh, usually working on the road, traveling. I mean, last year was just weird with COVID stuff. That's so, true, yeah. you know, but this is like the first true year where things are going to be like open and I'm not working at the same time. So. Right. So you're not going to know what to do with I yourself. don't know what to do with myself. Probably yeah. some honey-do list and uh, get together with the family and cook out some good food. Probably we, yeah, I'm barbecue. With the, we talked about going, taking a trip somewhere, but prices are outrageous. Any lodging anywhere. So I think we're probably going to do something similar. Just cook out and uh, hopefully enjoy the nice weather. Yeah. But I don't got anything else, Josh. You got anything else to add? No. I hope you guys had a great week and a 
enjoyed the show here today, and we'll see you guys next week. Oh, oh, oh. I got one other thing. One more. Hey, hey, one more. Hey, one other <laughs> thing. I'm curious for any of those that are still watching. Um, we we've, we've kicked around the idea of time slots for Facebook Live. Uh, we used to do it on Fridays. We moved it to Thursdays a while back. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions on on times and days, what would work best for you? Um, except for weekends, I don't want to come on in on the weekend to do Facebook Live. Well, I don't want to come in after five, really. Yeah, either. So I mean, I could I could do it from my couch <laughs> if that's what you really want to see. But um, so if you have thoughts on on what days and times you'd like to see us go live, uh, let us know. Um, otherwise, for the time being, it's every Thursday at one thirty we go live, and. Um, I hope you all have a good weekend, and if you got time, go check out uh, Awesome Call Challenge. Sounds great. You guys have a great week. We'll see you next week.